How you doing today, folks? So first off, we're going to be doing a $1,000 giveaway for 1,000 subscribers, so definitely stay tuned for that. It's going to be something absolutely awesome. Now this is going to be the review of the Microtech Knives Ultratech. The one, the only, the classic. Now this one has a beautiful Hellhound blade with a overall blacked out handle, with the exception being of the little logos on here, as well as the dagger right here. And obviously the bit of DLC on this gorgeous Hellhound Tonto blade. Now I showed this briefly in the intro, but first things first, let's talk safety. If this fires into your leg, is it going to hurt? Absolutely. Fires into your hand, is it going to hurt? I can tell you from first hand experience, I'm an idiot. Yes, it will. Will it go fully into your hand? The most people tend to think no. And again, this knife is not broken. You just pull it out and reset the spring and you are good to go. Now, as far as the overall action, I really cannot stress enough that I think the Ultra Tech is the perfect one. Now, as you can see, it's pretty damn small in my 2XL hands, but I think the uh, kind of the combat troodon and the troodons and some other stuff, they have a little bit too much spring tension. And even though you can totally open them up, it's not really all that enjoyable. It does wear on your fingers over time. Even this one wears on your fingers over time, as you can see. And it's just not, for me personally, my ideal. Um, I had a combat troodon, thought I would love it, did not. And I never even thought about picking up an Ultratech because it's just a smaller piece. Uh, this is actually belongs to my buddy Scott at Big Board Knife and Gear. Um, and once I had this in hand, I was really, really impressed. And I kind of understood why it was a classic. Now, Microtech does use pretty thick blade stock in general, especially on the Hellhound model. Despite that, to be very clear from the factory, these things absolutely do cut. Though this one, is not from the factory. The edge is pretty damn dull. So the performance you see in this video is not going to be relative to what you will receive from the factory. Also, Scott is a better sharpener than I am and I don't wanna mess up this beautiful knife that's gonna be going back to him today. So I'm not gonna sharpen this to give a better impression of it. So just again, be forewarned from the factory, these things are laser beams. And to illustrate that fact. <laughs> Come on. Okay, that didn't work. Anyways, this knife has been used, loved, and it is uh, <laughs> very, very dull. But on the upside, because it is so dull, because I've used this thing so much, I can give you a very good impression of this knife. And to be clear, I really like this thing. But here's why. So I love engineering, right? And the idea that they thought so much about this, look at this. In order to actuate this, you have to keep constant pressure and then it blows out, right? But if at any point in time you release the pressure or you don't maintain that constant pressure until you get to all the way at that point, this knife will not deploy. As such, this very simple semi, but I'm pretty sure it was a nightmare to design system, makes it not impossible, but damn near impossible to deploy in your pocket. You have to be doing some pretty weird things. Um, to be clear, I have actually deployed an OTF in my pocket. Um, I carried it on the wrong side and I was shimmying down a house or under a house technically and I happened to hit that right type of pressure with my leg and it popped out. But unless you're doing something like that, you're not going to have any problems with this knife. It's just designed very, very well and I really do appreciate that attention to detail that they paid to it. On top of that, the carry profile on this very weird looking clip is honestly perfect. It's very slim in the actual pocket. I don't really feel when I'm carrying this knife. Um, the glass breaker I have felt a couple times, but it, that's minimal. But it really does disappear. Um, most folks don't even know what I'm carrying, except for, again, the very loud billboarding all over this clip. Which, again, to me personally, does not bother me, but it might bother some folks. But as far as actual carry goes, this thing is a dream. Now, the ergonomics for my 2XL hands are pretty lackluster. I have a pinky and a half sticking off. With all that being said, once you actuate the blade, you can slide up more and you can actually place a finger on this like hellhound jimping. It becomes so much better. Not perfect, but pretty damn close. It's really, really comfortable in hand. And again, this thing is dull because I worked with it and I really tested it out and I, I was really impressed by it, honestly. Also, this hard anodized aluminum, honestly, the way the Ultratech is designed, 
you have just enough spacing to where you get these screws, right? And the combat Troodon or Troodons or whatever, there's too much of a gap there. So I don't ever really feel these screws. And as such, everything is really, really slippery for me personally. Um, with the Ultratech, because these screws are here, it almost acts as jimping on the handle in some strange way. And for me, it just fits a lot better. It's again, it's a strange thing to where I almost always like bigger knives, but for this one, I prefer the smaller version, you know, quite a lot actually. Top of that, look at the pocket clip. Look how much it's actually worn out and it's all clearly been used. But look at the hard anodized aluminum. Like, it's almost still perfect. Like, they did a fantastic job with it. There's definitely some wear on the button, and that's a little bit of skin. That's disgusting. Um, but as far as the hard anodized aluminum, really, like, I, I cannot stress enough, this is really very impressive. I don't like aluminum knives at all, but for some reason, I really like this one. And again, it's just done so very well. And I keep going back to this thing, right? But the Ultratech is a classic for a reason. But all classics do inherently have downsides, right? And so for me, this lanyard hole is completely illogical. Um, I did carry a lanyard on this just to see how it felt and how it looked, and it just was not functional. I mean, you can get your paracord through there to be clear, but it's, it does not look right. It hangs weird, like it bounces onto the scales, which could possibly scratch them, so it wasn't on there for too long. It wasn't trying to damage Scott's piece. But I don't understand at all why they would do that. That's just so incredibly strange to me. Another downside to me personally is this glass breaker. Now, to be clear, you can take this off in order to switch the clip around. So it is technically ambidextrous, which is a positive thing. But at the same time, you have to have this on here. If you screw this off and you leave it off, you don't have a clip. And you also have a pretty fat hole in the actual scale. So while I definitely have not used this glass breaker, I mean, I have tested it a little bit. It definitely does break glass. Um, I just don't see a purpose for needing it. I wish there was an option where this wasn't on there. I mean, I know this is pretty much in all of the uh, Microtech knives, but at the same time, they should have an option or at the very least design some functional way to where you could take this off if you so choose. Again, it's a nitpick, but it's personally a problem for me. Another thing that might be a problem for some folks, to be clear, not for me, I actually love it, but for most folks, we have proprietary hardware. Now, Microtech will void your warranty if you take the knife apart. Um, to be clear, OTFs are a pain in the ass to service. Um, I have serviced them. I have this little custom piece here that I have serviced quite a few times, actually. Um, but they will void your warranty, and it's not the best thing. However, I really love the aesthetic choice of it. I'm honestly a huge fan of proprietary hardware because most companies will sell the tool or if you can't, they don't sell the tool, you can find someone who will make the tool for you, which is an added expense and I understand that, but I just love having that little bit of extra style, a little bit of extra pop, a little bit of extra character that speaks to me of the designer. And I buy knives from designers that I like that make interesting designs for a reason. So more of those designs to me aren't a bad thing. It actually keeps it really interesting. Now we come to the part of the video where I need to tell you as a viewer, who is the Microtech Knives Ultratech for? And to do that, we're gonna have to do a little bit of a recap. So first off, we have overall fantastic action and a very interesting safety conscious mechanism. Hard anodized aluminum scales that are treated fantastically. Tons of very interesting blade finishes, including this amazing Hellhound. Proprietary hardware that you may or may not like. A very cool, yet very prominent logo. A fantastic deep carry clip that while you can technically switch it to the other sides, you are required to leave this very aggressive tactical glass breaker on at all times. You also have a very strange lanyard hole that personally I'm not a fan of, but you might be. Relatively poor ergonomics when undeployed, but very solid and good to go when deployed. So that's always a positive because at the end of the day, a knife's meant to cut. And when this thing is sheathed, you're not cutting. So ergonomics don't really matter all that much. Some very functional, but totally thumb destroying jimping and an overall piece that again is a classic for a reason. So who do I think the Microtech Knives Ultratech is for? Honestly, if you're tactical minded, if you happen to be an operator, if you happen to like the overall aesthetics or styles of them, if you're willing to try an OTF and you want to understand what the hype is about, 
I think it's for you. I think honestly every single person should try this knife. Will everybody like it? No. Honestly, I know quite a few folks that absolutely hate these knives, and that's fine. But I do think you should not be like me and judge a book by its cover. You should actually get it in hand, try it out, and I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. Might not love it, you might even hate it, but at the very least, you should definitely experience it. Again, it's a classic for a reason. Experience the classic. Because if I was my usual hard-headed self, I never would have had this knife in hand. I never would have understood the pure joy of it. And I never would have went out and bought my own. Now, again, I got to do a little bit of flex piece with the bronze Hellhound G10 front limited edition. But again, I went out and bought this knife because I actually really love this knife. So as such, my overall score on the Microtech knives Ultratech is going to be a 8.5 out of 10. To be clear, it definitely has problems, but for me personally, those problems, they don't matter all that much. You know, when you're a knife viewer, you gotta basically nitpick stuff, man. But as far as the overall piece as a whole, I love this knife. Again, it's a classic for a reason. Do I have better knives? Sure. Is it my favorite knife of all time? Again, no. But it's definitely up there, and I'm proud and happy to own it, and I think you will too. Now, with all that being said, folks, I love you all from the bottom of my little ginger heart. Excuse me, my gigantic ginger heart because I'm six foot eight. Um, but I just want to take a moment to give you all a sincere shout out. I appreciate every single one. Thank you for your likes, subscribe, support, your comments. They mean the absolute world to me. Even those that say negative shit in the comment section, I appreciate you. Might sound weird, but your criticism means as much to me as the people praising me. I appreciate all feedback at all times. Now, as always, folks, once again, I love you all. Take care. Have a great day, morning, noon, or night. Whatever you are doing, have a fantastic one, and bye.